At Battersea, we know that increasing numbers of people are looking overseas when it comes to rescuing a dog or cat. I absolutely understand why someone would want to rescue a dog from, from, from overseas. I think the important thing to realise though is that when you do bring an animal from another country, first there's the stress of, of, of travel and secondly there's the possible behavioural and medical issues that might arise when they do get to their home. The types of dogs that we get in from abroad will vary and it depends on the reasons that they've come in. So some dogs will have come over from abroad with their owners and they may come to us because of changes in circumstances like Roxy for example who's come to us from Thailand and then we've got other dogs that potentially come to us through rescues and owners have rescued them then they can't deal with the issues because the change in circumstances in living in the UK is too extreme for them. And then we get other cases like Sylvia the Lab, who hasn't got all the right vaccinations and we're waiting on blood results to be able to identify whether she needs to be further quarantined. It can be a concern for us because we don't know what infections these animals might be harbouring. Um, and there are infectious diseases that they see in other parts of the world that we just don't see here in the UK. Some of those are very difficult to diagnose and can crop up many years down the line so you don't always know straight away if they're infected um, and they can have serious implications for both the health of your new pet and for human health as well. We would definitely recommend that people consider UK rescues, there's lots of dogs in the UK already that need a new home. However, if they want to rehome from abroad, the main things to think about are making sure that the rescues are reputable considering where the dog is currently housed, what sort of environment they've come from, because that will help you know if they're going to be prepared to live in a home in the UK. There's a lot of work involved with these dogs. The journey can be often extremely long for them and very stressful. So it's really important people realise that rescuing a dog that you've not met before, don't have a full background necessarily on, is going to be a huge amount of work. It's an honourable thing to do but it definitely doesn't come without its hardships and as an owner you've got to be prepared to make sure that you've got lots of support on board as well. Battersea is working with rescues around the world to help them tackle animal welfare issues in their own countries. We've always believed in, in, in collaborating across the sector and helping other organisations and, and the Battersea Academy is a, an international centre of expertise and knowledge. We provide education and training programs to people working in rescue centres both across the UK and around the world. And alongside that we launched our grants programme to help fund those organisations do the things that they need to do to help more dogs and cats. Essentially we want to help as many dogs and cats as we can to give them a better life and we believe that we can do that working in partnership with many organisations around the world.